In late November last year, I came down to Wareham Forest for the day to try and find some fly agaric mushroom. Um, and while I did find them, they were a bit shriveled and old looking, so they weren't particularly nice to take photos of. So I made a note in my diary to come back earlier the next year, which is now. Um, so it's now mid to late October. So I've come back down with Ange. We packed up for the day. We're gonna wander around the forest and see if we can find some more fly agaric. And hopefully they'll be in better condition and we'll get some great photos. So obviously I've come out today to take some macro photos of some mushrooms. And I guess you can tell that one of the most important pieces of equipment you can bring with you is a macro lens. My macro lens is the Fuji 80mm. And do you know what other lens looks a lot like a Fuji 80mm? That's right, the 70 to 300 that I've picked up off the shelf by mistake. Um, but it's a, it's a cracking little lens. Um, I'm gonna try and get some different photos of it. Maybe some more environmental shots rather than some extreme close-ups. So making lemonade out of lemons today. Let's see how it goes. So if you've seen my previous Wareham Forest video, you'll know that I almost didn't see a fly garret mushroom. Um, it was kind of just in the last few minutes of the video that I managed to see one over the far side of the forest. Uh, kind of saved the video really. I'm actually starting to panic that this would be another video where I promised a subject and didn't deliver. And I've just found these. I was hoping to see more this week or this year even. Um, we've been here about half an hour and look what we found. Look at it, lovely in red with loads of white spots. Exactly what we want to find really. Awesome. So no rain was forecast today, which naturally means it's raining now. Thankfully, most of our gear is weather sealed and we've got coats, so it doesn't really matter. Just crack on, go for a walk, take some photos. As Ange says, drips don't get wet, they get bigger, so. So I think in the whole of the last video at Warren Forest, I saw two places where I saw flag arc, and so far today we've seen two flag arc, so as good as last year and uh, I think I'll leave the video there and see you next year. No I'm joking really we're gonna keep walking around try and find some more flag arc uh, see what other mushrooms we can find and in fact Angie's just spotted this eggshell fungus growing out of some cow or horse poo. We're walking down one of the smaller paths in the forest now and I'm pretty certain Along here is where I saw one of the fly garricks last year. So we've got our eyes peeled. We've seen quite a few that have either been kicked over or eaten or just gone a bit mushy. I have this thing where if I see something in the wild, like a fox or a bird or a mushroom, every time I go back to that exact same spot, I always look to see if it's there again, even though I know it's random a lot of the time, but I always expect to see the same thing in the same place. So I guess we'll find out. Oh, look here, there's another one. How exciting. Lovely in red, still got all its white spots. It's 
they often get washed off by the rain. This one looks pretty good. Let's see some photos. So this is the area where I saw the tow trough fungus last time in the last video um, and I decided to come back to this bit to see if we could find some more of them but we just got air and we were, it's like all the trees are being cut down. It does kind of feel like that scene in The Lord of the Rings, the two towers where Merry and Pippin are trying to convince Treebeard to join the fight um, and they kind of walk to the edge of the forest and Treebeard sees that Saruman has cut all the trees down and he says Many of these trees are my friends. Many of these trees were my friends. It's a bit sad, but there's still a big wet forest up there. Let's have a look around. Yeah, we got that one. I've never seen one as round as that before. Nice. We've seen so many mushrooms today, it's insane. We're hoping to come and find a flower garlic or two and maybe some other mushrooms to photograph, but everywhere you look, there's mushrooms just all over the floor and in between the trees. Seems to be a really good place for foragers as well, because we've seen a few different people walking around with buckets collecting mushrooms from the floor. I don't know enough about the types of mushrooms which are edible, because I'm more into photographing them than taking them home to eat. Hopefully they've uh, found some nice ones to go home and make a nice mushroom risotto or something. I think we're just about done now. We're both a bit tired and hungry. Most of my videos, to be fair, end when we're tired and hungry. So probably going to walk back to the car, have a coffee out of the thermos. Maybe the Greg's on the way home and gets us a roll. And then uh, that'll be the end. So see you next time. So I know I said that'd be the end of the video, but as usually happens with these things, we were walking back to the car, gonna be able to stomp on to get back quickly. Uh, we came across a really nice flag arc. So we're gonna stop, take some pictures, and then that'll be the end of the video. That'll be the end of the video. Look at that, it's really nice. If you ignore the giant dog poo in front of it. Using Angie's 70 to 300. I'm getting down nice and low from a distance. If you can see that picture. It's pretty good. Anyway, see you next time.